it's so scary to have people that don't look like you creating avatars that actually functionally the technology cannot create black hair. The algorithms are built specifically for white straight hair. That's concerning. And I really want the young people to be able to say like, hey, we can do something a little different. I can create my own identity in these spaces. We're building Ethos Lab on the humanity of the Black experience. So creating a space where Black youth feel respected, reflected, and protected. And by creating these types of environments, you're actually creating a more inclusive environment for all. Hi, my name is Antonia Ogundele, and I'm the founder and executive director of Ethos Lab. And we are sitting in the underwater arena called Atlantos that was created by the Ethosians. My background professionally, I'm actually a disaster planner. So for the last 18 years, um, I've worked with the provincial government, the Department of National Defense, responding to major disasters and emergencies. And I felt that my skills were best suited to actually respond to the disaster that is the creation of our future in these virtual spaces and making sure that my daughter and other underrepresented young people had a seat at the table in creating that future. And so, yeah, I don't have a background in science, technology, engineering, art, and math, but I do know a disaster when I see one and I responded to it by creating Ethos Lab. I think um, when it comes to emerging technologies, especially with youth, it would only be accessible to certain young people. They either had to apply for programs or they had to be extremely gifted or actually just have access to schools that had the tools, especially as a parent. Um, I have a daughter, I'm a 14 year old black girl, and I said, well, she needs to have access to those too. Uh, understanding and knowing that there is a lack of representation in this space. So it's really important that these kids are able to see themselves and know how to be in these virtual spaces. And it comes down to them needing to be creators and not just consumers. That's kind of the bigger picture around what I do and, and, and why this is important. The pandemic presented this opportunity to partner with Active Replica, and we did a hackathon in the creation of a virtual world. And so that was one of our major projects where all the youth were able to contribute varying ideas uh, in order to build out this virtual space. And so the winning idea out of that was Atlantos. They came to us and said, hey, can you build us a Atlantis themed Hogwarts meets Wakanda uh, underwater stadium? We we're like, yeah, of course, let's do it. <laughs> who actually thinks about an, an underwater, undersea basketball court. That was all them in thinking about what a virtual space could look like. And Active Replica helped us bring it to life. And that's one of the things that we're really excited to do is give people a, a solid foundation to start building on top of. And it's really about fostering that sense of agency in these virtual spaces. Like agency and identity, I think, are two of the things that we really want to support people in. For a young person to be able to see their ideas come to life and that it was actually possible. First off, when we said we were going to build it, they were like, what are you talking about? And I think it was uh, a number of months until they realized the different exercises we were going through was actually contributing to it actually being produced. So it was a little unbelievable in the beginning. It really is about being a part of a community. Um, and so some of the hands-on things that they've managed to do, for example, last year we did a world building competition and they leveraged open source software to be able to do this and even learned how to build in the back end to start creating the environments and the assets. So I think it's really important that the kids are not just consumers of these spaces, whether it be the Fortnites, the Robloxes or the Minecrafts and just kind of run around and play, but actually understand the back end and can build the worlds that they want to be a part of. The work that they're doing is obviously really important in terms of making sure that everybody has a seat at the table as this uh, next generation of technology is being developed. I definitely feel hopeful when I start looking at all the different ethosians, debating these issues around inclusion in virtual spaces, debating about issues around the metaverse, and also having conversations about our humanity within the context of this digital future. Ethosians, you guys are killing it. You guys are amazing and keep on creating.